on the last episode of Pokeball Z. It's no surprise that you've won against both Clay and me. You have some very unique and cunning tactics indeed. Since you've, de <laughs> since you've defeated us both, it's time for you to meet Villasini. Please follow. <laughs> and here we are! The final room of GR Castle. King Villasini, your executive Clay, has been defeated. Villasini, your executive Allison has been defeated. Oh ho! This so you managed to beat best both Clay and Allison, I see. The time has come for you and I to have our decisive card battle. Clay, Allison, be gone! When you lose miserably to Villasini, you'll come to understand his power. Now find out the hard way that Team GR is in the rights. Will we? I don't, I don't, it doesn't sound like it. I mean, it's kidnapping, stealing cars. <laughs> I'll be pleasantly surprised. I'll be pleasantly surprised. I don't know why I said supplies. If you get defeat, Villasini. Oh, we shall see. Well, now, Mint. Pokemon cards are to be used solely to fight and win. It is under this philosophy that I have found a Team GR. What's the point in collecting cards if they are not useful in battle? They must be used, I say. I have rescued the cards from those pathetic hoarders on your island. I have invented new ways to battle, putting those wasted cards to use. This is the ultimate form of devotion towards Pokemon cards. They are not meant to be stashed away like your f our foes do with them. Only one with the utmost respect for cards can be the master of them. I will never be defeated by a simpleton who merely collects them. But the time has come. Have a seat. I shall destroy you in a fiery duel. Will you? Will you? I will be switching between my four decks during our card battles. Of course, you will have the chance to do the same with your decks too. Let us begin our decisive battle. The first player to, to gain two total wins will be declared the victor. That should be gain, not gains. Anyway, no, that is fine. I will patiently wait. Do what you feel you need to do with your cards and prepare yourself. No matter, it is impossible to match the strength of my cards. Even so, I will gladly entertain a card battle with you. Make your preparations and return when you are ready. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough after beating all three of our decks. So you'll know how to beat all three of our decks. We're finally ready to go into the next room and face Villasini after some side questing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we're, we're going in this time for realsies. It's the same uh, statues as from the other area. Yeah, that, that was kind of the worship at the airport and what. <laughs> so you can walk across the starry carpet here. You've seen these starry carpets before in places, I'm sure. You can explore the whole area, except, oddly, these side areas here probably just imply that these armrests are in your way. And no, you cannot talk to the throne or anything like that, but you can talk to Villasini over here. So you have returned to do battle with me at last, am I correct? The first player to get two total wins will be the victor. You'll soon learn to fear the power of my four formidable decks. Yes, that's right. He's got four decks for us to beat. Oh boy, but I'm only going to do two this part. Yes, because you've seen the dialogue before when you click no. Set aside six prize cards. Now, which deck shall I use? The beat and destroy deck, that's what! <laughs> so he looks like a pretty happy guy, all, <laughs> all things considered. <laughs> so uh, he's like, hey, yeah, I love playing the Pokemon training card game. And then I'm like, on the other side of the table, me too! And then he's like, well, I'm the undefeated champion. There's nothing that you'll be able to do to stop me. And then I come along and I'm like, well... I'm about to end your career, just as I said earlier. <laughs> so, after that trash talk occurs, then our battle begins. Let's see what happens. We go first, but let's see. We get ooh Lapras. Ooh, yeah. I think this is a water and fighting deck, if I recall correctly. Uh, I mean, well, water and grass deck. Excuse me, if I recall correctly. Um. I think I'm gonna focus on powering up the Dugong on the side, as well as the Wigglytuff. But I would kind of like to nick away at that Lapras in the meantime with Dratini, because, you know, I got energy removal to stall for a little bit here, so... Pretty sure we will be okay. And thus the Water Gun is a coming. 
just as expected, because it's got a lot of HP, so of course he's gonna he's gonna try powering that up. And I guess I'll just dump out my hand of everything. <laughs> I, I, I suppose. <laughs> uh, well, I thought I could trade for whatever I want, but you know what? I I I probably get something pretty good with Professor Oak in exchange. Like I would have probably went for a Wiggly Tough, but. No wiggly, but I got another Professor Oak here. That's pretty nice to see. Let's all plop that Lapras of my own on there and continue to pound away at the Dratini. <laughs> pound away with the Dratini. Pound at the Lapras. Yes, perfect. Perfect speaking, PK Gam. You truly are a master of your arts. Oh, energy rule again. Alright, I'll, I'll do that. Get the Dugong going. And I'll. I'll Hold off, just do a pound. There you go. See, now it's down into Dugong attack range. That's basically my idea with the Dratini. I can always get myself... Ooh, sneak attack! Whoa! I can always uh, get the Dugong set up on the side while I just kind of nick away like that, which was probably a good idea to do so, but... Well, now my Dugong can't exactly attack. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna plop out my Lapras. How does that sound? Yeah, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll keep making way with my own Lapras. Maybe I could even do a Confuse Ray before he's able to confuse me, although he'll probably go for the Confuse Ray. Ah, oh, as predicted! <laughs> oh, poopers! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um... Hmm... I guess, I guess I'll do that, and mm, I'm, I'm thinking of skipping because of the confusion, but I don't... Mm, I'll try it, what the heck. I mean, I'm, I'm just basically waiting for him to knock out my Lapras anyway, <laughs> so I might as well. It was either, oh what, you didn't like that draw, but yeah, I was like, eh, 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 well... Mm, it could have gone either way, you know, I'll either knock myself out, or he knocks me out, you know? <laughs> um, I guess I can plop that on there, and try again! Okay, we did 10 damage, this is kind of pointless considering Dugong can wipe it out in one shot anyway. Okay, now he seems pretty happy with that draw, but will he get a head? Uh, he will! Oh, man! <laughs> well, well... We'll see how it goes. And big time water gun to finish off the Lapras. Yep, he, I kind of sort of figure he might do that or a plus power because, yeah, just to kind of speed things along. But at the same time, was that really wise? I mean, that, he's, he is going to lose that energy, right? <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and use Pokemon Trader. Switch the seal for a Wigglytuff, of course. Prepare for doom. Uh, should, I, should I put him? Like, should I go for a second Wiggly, or should I just Professor Oak? I mean, I already attached my Ener. Oh wait, no, I didn't attach my. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> just dump everything out because I still need to do the wave after all. Uh, but I was just thinking, like, to keep bench spots open and everything, just to be sure everything is nice and ready for whatever I may want to set up in the future, but I don't really run that many different lines of Pokémon, so... You know, if you think about it, it's, it should be okay in that regard. Anyway, Aurora Beam, and we'll take our first prize card. And we'll probably take a couple more prize cards, thanks to the Aurora Beam. And... Put the Squirtle back in, got a Dark War Turtle. Yeah, he's got a lot of Dark Starter Pokémon in his decks. Uh, so it's kind of kind of his theme of sorts, uh, with his decks, and yeah, anyway. <laughs> so you go ahead and do that water gun. I will draw... I got a water... Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I should bill first, because maybe I can wipe out that water energy. No. Um... Should I go for the ice beam instead of the aurora beam, then? I'm thinking I maybe should, because he might try and confuse my dugong, and if I can prevent that, that would be ideal. Nice. <laughs> and then I'll be able to finish off the Lapras. All right. I mean, not that it would have mattered that much 
to that because chances are I would have been able to attack with Dugong eventually anyway. So yeah. So you discarded that energy, so now I don't have to worry about the confusory if I just use two Um I can't, I can't speak! <laughs> if I use two Aurora beams, yes. So I think I'll just do that and just kinda skip the paralysis this time because if he's gonna if he's gonna be doing some heals, we might as well be doing more damage, you know? Uh, unsuccessful. So, no Bill's teleporter for you, mister. Ah, oh, oh! I think you see where this is gonna go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put this on the star you, because I got the, the star me in preparations as well. And just for the fun of it, let's see what the coin flip's gonna be. Paralysis hits. And that's another prize card, as predicted. So it looks like our undefeated master here is kind of in a pickle. <laughs> Alright, let's see the double slap. So yeah, if you, you kind of keep the war total down, it won't be able to do its major damage attackies, so to speak. Because the dark war total here has got the mirror shell. Yeah, see that? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh, so it's kind of like a setup before it gets knocked out. So that's probably something that we should prevent. You know, you know, probably. <laughs> Let's do that. I think seems like a good idea. So let's pop that on there. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Why am I not using the bill? <laughs> why would like why would I never use the bill? Um. Uh, Hmm, alright. I'll go for the Ice Beam, just to maybe prevent damage, there we go. I didn't know if I'd be able to prevent damage, but just in case... You know, it's like a double prevention there with the Ice Beam and the Energy Removal. Oh, it looks like he's out of energy. That is... gonna be a bit of a problem for him, and that's right, I already evolved the Seal. <laughs> I'm using it! It's the Dratini that I put on the field as a... as a copy there. Oh, you know what I should do, speaking of... We're gonna go trade that back in the deck. Your dragon air. Hello, my friend. And yeah, so I guess I'll just aura be. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to hold off for now and just continue our dugong sweep as best we can. He might be able to get. Well, I'm dead. well he's probably gonna get an energy now. I was gonna say he might be able to get an energy with his draw because he's getting low on cards himself. So. Kind of thinning things out. Although I might just have been sucking away so much energy that it's just, yeah. Uh, speaking of, I'm tempted to use that on the Lapras to prevent confusion. Possibly. I think I will. I mean, it's 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 a two for one, but I but it puts me at such a good advantage in comparison that it's like eh eh. I think I think that would be the wise investment of the super energy removal, even if I'm not discarding two energy cards. Yeah, see what I mean? So you, if you would have drawn an energy card there, you would have possibly been able to confuse Ray me. So I just put a stop to that. And... Aurora Beam for the victory of that battle, and the Squirtle pops out. Oh, he's on his last... I was gonna say he's on last, his last Pokémon. Just been kind of souping him faster than he was ready for, I guess. <laughs> um, double colorless. I kinda... I'm ready with the dragon. Let's go for another Wiggly, I guess. Might be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, not, as for now, we're done. <laughs> Nothing more to do. <laughs> I don't know, I'd even bother clicking that. Just messing around. And no paralysis, so I will be able to Aurora Beam that Squirtle off the field. There's the Wiggly! <laughs> is, this, <laughs> is this overkill? It may very well be considered overkill. <laughs> I got it out of Dragon Air to boot, but I don't think I'll need that since I already got the... Yeah, anyway, let's see what he does. He does nothing! Actually, why didn't you? Trying to switch me with something, or doesn't it matter what you switch me with? I would have thought you would have wanted to switch me with... Starmie or something, or even the Dragonair, because, you know, it might not do a full 50. 
Well. Well. I win. <laughs> oh, well, he's just like, I give up that game. It's, it, it's, it's too... Too much of an uphill battle. <laughs> Alright. That is your first win. Let's continue on to the next duel. Yup. It's a best two out of three dealio. Should I change my deck? Well, I'm gonna say yes, because I want to save. Uh, I want to have him use a different deck, basically. And then we are going to say... Actually, maybe I should switch decks. This this may be too powerful for him. <laughs> Maybe I'll try the Snoop Dogg deck, and... no. Good. Then let us begin the next battle. Set aside your six prize cards and we'll start the competition! The Throwout deck! Let's go! I think this is his Machamp-based one, which is sort of kind of a starter if you think about the Pokémon trading card game's basic sets, uh, starter set. Uh, that's a... That's a reshuffle if I ever saw one! <laughs> <laughs> Not single Pokemon in general. Uh, ooh. Um. Should I stall a Chansey or should I just go straight for the. Probably stall a Chansey. I was gonna say, maybe I could do stuff with the Venonat, but I think this Chansey stall will be the, the wiser bet, even though I think he's gonna be using Fighting. Uh, oh man, that's gonna be 40. <laughs> but yeah, I kinda wanna go for the Venomoth because of, uh,. A certain resistance it's got, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of play that as such. Like, I didn't even know what deck he was gonna choose, as you could tell. So you just kind of pick a deck and hope he chooses something that you can manage with your deck. That's why you make decks that are very versatile, if you can. Uh, so I think any of my decks would be capable of beating any of his decks, in all honesty. But, you know, I just want to kind of switch stuff up for the fun of it more than anything. And there we go. You you go ahead and throw my Chansey out, I guess. It may be a sparkly card, but it has done its duty. And now Venomoth comes in with the resistances, and your side isn't looking too good there. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Rainbow Powder. Come on, Poison Combi. Yeah! Oh, wait, no, no, that's, that was Paralysis. That's right, it was uh, Hit Tails is the Poison. My bad, my bad. <laughs> well, that's still okay, I guess. We should be just fine overall. Ooh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It doesn't have the power to do any damage. I don't even have a uh, bench Pokemon at the moment to... Uh, I thought you even see my energy. All right, Rainbow Powder, do your poison. Oh, <laughs> fine, fine. Just, I don't mind if you call, keep causing paralysis. That's fine by me, but don't, don't come crying to me when you don't knock out the opponent's Pokemon fast enough. You know, you know. <laughs> oh, that's probably wise there, but I'm still gonna go for the poison. So I'll still get through the defender. I could use another uh, basic Pokemon, you know. You know, so eventually, it's just saying. And alright, there's the poison. Yes, I recognize when poison happens now, it's a miracle. <laughs> now he's probably gonna want to switch, though, because of the issue of the poison is gonna be messing him up. Oh no! Did you, why? Why did you let that happen? Because now I'm gonna probably do something bad to your Machop, and then. Yeah! Well, anyway, I got. Venonat hanging out over here, so I could possibly get another bad boy. Poison, poison, poison. Oh. <laughs> because if it, was a po if it was poison, I basically won, unless he gets another basic. But yeah, I don't think he had that good of a shuffle, but considering that the way that this is the 2 out of 3 battle type dealio here, I, I won't exactly be able to show you, I should say re-show you this deck like right away after this. Uh, because, you know, stuff like ending credits and stuff. <laughs> Details! Details! Anyway, let's go for the tails. Yeah! Speaking of the details, there's the tails. And yeah, the Venomoth might just be a little bit too OP when he has a bad shuffle. Because it's just not really... Well, the Clefairy might be able to do something. Oh, Mr. Mime neutral damage. He could use that earlier. That's for certain. And... Put napping the Venomoth. We shall see if it wakes. 50% chance it wakes. <laughs> it's 
definitely my game. Uh, actually, if you just keep putting bench Pokemon out there, you know, it's... It's kind of a thing where it's just there in general. Like, I'm still showing his deck, you know, in its fullest. It's just that I'm not... I mean, he's not really able to do much of anything, just just as a result of what's going on, you know? <laughs> just how things are rolling. So it just might... So this might just be... <laughs> the fullest in showing his deck in general. I don't think I need to attach anything else. I might... go for a defender. Well, no, it'll take him a while to do that juggling. And if I get Tails... Beautiful. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's gonna be forced to plop out Mr. Mime. So, my moth KOs the fairy, and Mr. Mime plops out and is looking merry. But how merry will it stay? Oh, <laughs> another one! <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think, I think I think we won this. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that Mr. Mime would have been pretty nice earlier on. I think that would have made a much bigger difference. Uh, but it's, it's looking like if he doesn't get more basics, he's going to be stuck, especially if I get the, the poison flip here for Tata. Might as well plop on there. Tails will win it! Oh, <laughs> Just couldn't do it on that turn, huh? Just couldn't do it on that turn. Well, I could have with plus power, I guess. But... Oh, Defender! Sneaky, sneaky! But if I get poison, that's still a win. Um... But yeah, there's a plus power I could have just... Yeah. I don't know, I'm just kind of... I'm just wondering if I should... <laughs> end my turn just to show off his deck more, you know? <laughs> that's, that's not nor... Oops! That's not, that's not normal play, you know? But I just kind of wanna... Kind of wanna, you know? <laughs> Alright, Defender... Mm-hmm. I mean, I could get Tails and then... Or just plus power and wipe him out like I could have, but yeah. Um... I'll just keep on going here. I even have Pokemon traded to choose something later on there. <laughs> just gotta see what's going on. It's, it's kind of amazing that I'm messing around on the... Uh, the big bad boss of <laughs> Deep Great Rocket. The one everyone's basically worshipping as this... perfect master of the game. Basically, and Gust of Wind. That I can't even use, huh? <laughs> Uh, just basically powering up for Eradicate. Come on, get a bench Pokemon, eh? <laughs> There you go! <laughs> Alright, I knew you could do it. <laughs> so now... I don't really have to... <laughs> I don't have to attach anything. Everything's powered up nicely. Yeah, I guess I'll just play it out like this and just keep letting him get bench Pokemon to see what the... Uh, what else his deck has in store. But maybe it's... I don't know, maybe my deck is just... Like the perfect counter to his, because his, his aces are the fighting, and I have a lot of fighting resistance, thanks to flying grass critters, and yeah. Anyway, let's see. It wakes up too. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting hard to actually give him a chance here. <laughs> I got even injured. The single energy removal on my deck too. Uh, Put that on there, get that rat gone, and hopefully I won't get tails. <laughs> I was going to say, if I poison it, that's kind of... That's going to reduce his chances even quicker, but I want to put the Clefairy into a position where I can knock it out quicker in the future. And... Uh, mm, should I skip attack again? Eh. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is show his deck, because I'm in good control. Alright, you put that to sleep, and oh, oh now that he's got uh, his last bench Pokemon, I suppose I can commence with the uh, full knocking out. Well, assuming I, I'm able to, you know. <laughs> I can always do a switch, you know, I've been holding on to that for a little while, too, after all. Oh, you know, that was, that was actually kind of a waste of energy, because I already have uh, all of the energy I need for the Rattata and Raticate, because I only have two more Raticate in there. I mean, two Raticate in the deck, so... Yeah, <laughs> well, whatever. I don't really have anything else to attach it to anyway, just kind of... just kind of hanging out over here, and... Well, he's got Chansey now, that might be... stall-worthy, yeah, it's that version of Chansey that I was using to stall earlier. Very good card. Uh, how about we do this? Oh, wait, that... oh, that's right, I didn't... I was gonna... 
I didn't draw a Pokemon. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I'll use that to use the trade away of the Pokemon that I got for another basic and start powering that up. I don't know why. I'm just oh hungry. Nice to see you there. <laughs> Snoop Dog knows how to please, and he's probably gonna start scrunching. But I'm gonna go for the status effects anyway. And. There is uh, the damage prevention, but it cannot prevent uh, the statuses. Wait, 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 that first. Yeah, I think I think what I'm just messing up here is because I know I got the game won. It's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just more of a thing of, it's just only a matter of time, you know? <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe there's a chance. He could draw out his entire deck, energy removal, everything I've got, and then do a perfect sweep. But he's got to have five cards in his deck to do the perfect sweep, so maybe not because he's got the he's got five prize cards. I'll use Bill to see what I get, or maybe he can run me out of cards. Uh, I did just switch to is it the poison? Maybe was it that much of a threat? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, you're probably overthinking this. That's rainbow powder, <laughs> and there's the poison once again. So, uh, now with three retreat costs, it's gonna be a little... a little bit trickier. <laughs> Let's see what goes on now here. Gonna fetch... Nope, you're not gonna run me out of cards. <laughs> you're gonna do that. <laughs> Alright. Scyther... Oh yeah, my bench is full. Don't need, not gonna bother. <laughs> Rainbow powder. Paralysis, please. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Doesn't... That was a weird hiccup on the sounds. That's... Oh, anyway. <laughs> And yeah, next turn, unless he can switch, I win. So yeah, I, I gave him as many chances as I could. <laughs> but I think your one of your executives with a certain powerful energy removal deck has is, is got more powerful decks than you do. I, just saying, just saying. I, I want to make you feel bad. But just saying. <laughs> All right, let's just go, let's just finish him off. And yes, I know I could have did some uh, Suchi Swappies as well, but as I said, I was just kind of stalling things out to see what he could do with his deck, and apparently not much. <laughs> Victory! Woo! What in the... I've lost. I how could I have been defeated in a card battle against you? Twice! In a row! <laughs> Yet I had insurmountable fun in these duels. How could this be? See, you did look really happy. My heart, it's still beating so fast. I've never had such fun playing the Pokemon card game before. This is the first time I've ever lost playing the Pokemon card game. Really? <laughs> Do you remember what I said before? Cards are only meant to be used. I thought cards were only useful when they brought power to a deck. Now I see differently. They're all to have fun. Even when collecting, no matter how you use your Pokemon cards, you must enjoy yourself. That's right. You made me realize this during our card battles. Mint, thank you very much. I give my word that we shall stop stealing cards from innocent people. Yes! Thank you! Pokemon cards ought to be in the hands of the people who love them. Wait, what about the kidnapping part? You promise not to kidnap anyone too? I've learned any, if, I, if I've learned anything from my cards, it's the value of friends. Here, take this insignia of my friendship now. Behold! The Togepi coin! Yeah, this is Gen 2 Pokemon referenced in this game. <laughs> if you didn't see on his coin earlier. Woo! Still gotta use that bottom four row there, but there's still a lot more game to go. I've also, I'll also give you this very rare card as a gift from Team GR. Behold, GR's Mewtwo! He didn't really use the deck that had this, did he? Hmm. Wait, maybe, maybe he did. But yeah, this is one of the special cards that Team GR made for themselves. Probably illegally, but... <laughs> All damage dark by... Done by blah, blah, blah. All damage done by dark Pokemon is increased by a random amount of 0, 10, or 20. So... If you're using dark Pokemon like he is with all the starters and the Machamp and stuff like that, you can use that to power up their attacks in general. And then dark power, flip a coin for all dark Pokemon on your bench. 20 damage plus 20 more damage for each head. So it's a 
very big, dark support Pokémon. It's not overpowered or anything like that, I would say, but, you know, it's, it's pretty neat. <laughs> that resolves our dispute, then. Don't you agree, Mint? Eh, I, I guess. But with the kidnapping? Eh, you know, it's still, it's still a thing with that. Let's both continue on, sharing passion for our Pokémon cards. Woo! And thus we shall in the post game. <laughs> so this is the credits. These people made the game. I did not. I uh, just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people, and hopefully I did so. Now, as uh, you know, I believe I said something about that you gotta beat Villacini twice. Well, if you do, you unlock. A certain something. So, since he's got two more decks, I'd very much like to battle those two decks over in the next parts. You know, for the sake of showing all his decks and the like. So, yeah, it'll be something to do, I would say. I would say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think this game definitely should have been brought over to other countries. I mean, it's just. Yeah, it's really, really good. I'd say it's even better than the first Pokemon trading card game. Yeah, there is a little bit of annoyance having to sort of kind of build new decks at times in certain ways, like to meet characters' requirements and stuff like that, but at the same time, not that big of an annoyance, because it's fun building decks in general, you know? <laughs> I'd say the biggest annoyance was the GR Fighting Forts trial and error maze, more than anything. <laughs> that was kinda... yeah, that, I don't think they thought through that one all that much. Which is kind of a shame, considering that it was like the one really unique area, I guess you could say, because yeah, all the other areas had their own themes and environments and decorations and stuff like that, but they are all generally pretty linear. You know, you just go from room to room, seeing the sights along the way as I've done, and then you just go and battle a person, go to the next room, see the sights, battle the next person, etc, etc. So, it's, yeah, the fighting fort was definitely really unique in that regard, but it was... Oh, jeez, there he is. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but yeah, it was just... They, they, they shouldn't have made it so trial and error, yeah? <laughs> oh, and here comes uh, Team Rocket there. That card is actually in the game. It's, uh... You'll see how to get that a little bit later. <laughs> it's... You're gonna be mad when you see how you get that. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um... But other than that, yeah, there, there's so much more content there in this game than there was in the first game, I would say, thanks to all of that. Uh, new decks, some characters even get more than one deck along the course, like they update their decks along the way, so you gotta rebattle them to see what deck they've got and everything like that. And since there's two islands to battle through as well, you know, that's basically like double, <laughs> double the decks to battle against in general, since there's generally four people to battle at each location. Basically, so... <laughs> Yeah, as I, I, as I said before, I think the reason why that they didn't bring it over is because it had a bunch of cards that never really... Oh, and Lugia has another one, like Here Comes Team Rocket, how you get... But anyway, uh, oh, that one too, that's another one. Oh, that N is a little bit off. But, <laughs> but yeah, I think the reason why they didn't bring it over was because it uses a lot of cards that were... Uh, oh, man. <laughs> it uses a lot of cards that were never brought over. But, I would argue that they still should have just brought over the cards then. I mean, people are missing out on some pretty interesting cards, you see. So, yeah! <laughs> and that was the credits. Now, even though the credits play, there's still a lot of stuff to do. I mean, a lot! <laughs> um, there is the sealed fort, as you know. Now, we couldn't get in before. The, the There was two challenge cups. Uh, well two challenge dome type places and we, we didn't really have that unlocked. There were... Um, there was that game corner. So yeah. Uh, there's also a bunch of trades to do still, so... Uh-huh. 
<laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we begin the post-game. Well, it's mainly gonna be Villasini first, I guess. <laughs>